okay so yesterday one the dashboard is completed only starting is the configuration today i am going to start the configuration okay so not going to service i'm just going to little bit go i'm going to configuration and part is network and device okay any new device that switch router firewall any device so need to configure add first in your clear pass okay any new device so i'm just example i'm doing the configuration and go to click add i'm just uh, asking the which one cisco switch just cisco switch enter the host any name identification that uh, ip address the switch ip address switch ip address okay switch ip address that assign the ip address of our particular switch that ip address okay not a gateway management ip this is ma this is management ip okay please make sure that is management ip switch ip address okay radius key you can define the radius key you can define the IP. Okay. Enter the radius, radius secret key which their configuration. Radius key should be the eight eight number of characters. Eight, one, two, three. I think my radius key enter is the wrong. Maybe I'm just wondering. Oh, I mean, four. I mean, I the one, two, three, four. So the in the same key when going to configure the switch. radius so that time should be the say this key and the radius key as per your switch configure should be same should be same okay both the radius key should be same if you key not matching in the switch end so that not going to authenticate your end points make sure that that key should be all the same which are configure at your clickers and the switch because this is our radius this is our area in build server okay this is a server and switch is a authenticator okay so that this is our server which you configure you are configure the key that's key are same in the switch also okay and they am con i am uh, configuring the takas also takas means you need to access the switch with the help of takas as per the username password should be the credential that uh, credential should be in your ad credential not for not for the uh, same plain text credential ad admin credential is not using only for ad user credential that will work when going to able to access that particular switch okay okay this port is no need to change port is a standard for all devices for all devices in the firewall security switch router it should be same okay but only the change the vendors when going to cisco to so please make it the cisco vendor okay cisco if the uh, different vendor like the uh, mm, what is your uh, in the company environment the om uh, vendors tell me the vendors cisco what type of devices you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. fortigate fortigate also there okay you can fortigate you can use again palo alto once in palo alto palo alto also is there okay Again, Aruba, Aruba also is there. Okay, so all vendors should be available. If if your environment, some type of envir, uh, some type of devices vendor is available, not available. Like uh, any vendor, maybe is the uh, Versa. You know the Versa is given. Uh, yes, I think I have the already in pipet. I just um, Silver Peak is maybe there. Uh, one second, what is Arista? Arista also is there, but why? Mm, what type of devices? Uh, correct, correct. I just HFCL, HFs. Juniper also is there, maybe. Juniper also is there. Okay. Juniper also is there. So some devices, the uh, dictionary is not available. So like, uh, I just uh, which devices? HFCL, HFCL India is India makes switches. HFCL, okay. That HFCL that switch vendor is not available. So what to do that time? 
device not going to adding the device not possible it should be add the device but that device vendor name should be either third party this is a vendor name itf okay if the vendor is not available in a dictionary so that time should be ietf you can use it that is working that is working okay so all devices is the is dictionary is available they are not vendor is available but should be that device cover in your clear pass got it snmp is there the snmp should be configured no need to configure this is not required this is very important this is this point and this point very important in the attributes oh just moment we should be tag value I am not going to tag. So tag why you using the tag? What is the difference and the tag? I just explain you. So that device when going to the adding the Cisco switch. So that particular service that configure the tag. The attribute tags it's matching to them that particular service. So those devices only that services should be hit. I think you're not understanding, correct? Ident tag means identification of the service. So I have the number of two or three number three type, type of number of switches at uh, multiple type of uh, services. So I'm I'm going to segregate the traffic with the help of tag. I'm going to Cisco switches using the tag value is uh, four two three one. In the Juniper switches, using the tag value seven eight nine four. This is identification of the service. What is the use of what is the benefit benefit of the service? That benefit means that service particularly service particular endpoint that uh, communicate with the particular uh, tag value service. Not going to uh, mess up the service. Particular number of endpoints. So those particular endpoint that properly hit. That particular tag value service. Got it? You understand how to configure the devices, IP address, uh, radius key. Radius key should be and trackers key should be say uh, in your. This is your server. When going to add that add this uh, device, that time this is a service key. That service key means uh, in the uh, triple A server, you need to configure the key. You not. Uh, Share this key share to the switch team and network team. They are configured the same as per your uh, adding, which are adding you in this clear pass. Because our uh, clear pass is a triple A server, not the switch triple A server. Triple A itself is a clear pass server. Authentication, authentic, authentication, authorization, accountability. Okay. So make sure that when configure the radius key or secret key should be the same in the switch chain also and the radius and the uh, clear pass also. Don't mismatch in this key because in mismatching the key they are not communicated uh, authenticated it not work and they are not able to access the device some going to confuse so please make sure that key very uh, sensitive uh, uh, secret key is very sensitive please make sure that please use a proper way okay select the vendors no need to change this uh, port number because not required okay if you using the red jack certificate so that time you can enable but still nobody can use so leave it that part okay got it okay sorry i am not getting i think i am not got, i am not save it once again i am just have no issue i'll just save it cisco switch uh ip address 10 description uh, this is cisco switch any description you have identification you can put to as this is a uh, e, e lobby, e lobby. Okay, uh, secret key. Okay, password also is putting this. This is co switches. Secret key not matching. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, as I'm telling once again.
already exist name are already same okay so it should be i am changing name okay this is adding this is sorry this is a, i am adding the switch okay so when going to add the switch is completed so please make sure the create a group i am creating new groups when going to create group i am just for which switch sock cisco switch cisco switch switch so that any description can you copy paste over there subnet it should be i think uh, one second because when second i just my i'm again going to create a this sock to switch go to up because i am going to enable now so that uh, not going to save it so i make sure that please go up okay now so it so which device this is a uh, this is or please add save it okay so please make sure that this is for see i show you what is the difference between the groups why very important the group because group uh, where it is a group so where is the group i have the lots of number of switches cisco switches arista switches juniper switches so we can create the like uh, multiple groups not going to club the single groups got it because why because you are that group binding to particular service so service cisco service going to work in the cisco only not for the juniper make sure that the juniper service not going to work in the cisco okay so that time you should be create multiple groups as per your vendor type of uh, devices the cisco juniper arista palo alto a uh, 14net multiple types you can create a multiple groups you not going to uh, club to multiple switches multiple vendor in a single group it not work got it because because multiple group what is the use of the multi group multiple group that means multiple segregated traffic multiple services we can create because only single service not going to work in the multiple vendor uh, devices cisco service going to work at the cisco only attribute work at the cisco devices that attribute not going to work in the juniper devices see i'll like give the simple simple example uh, i know the language of the chinese i have will i am very well to uh, speak to language english uh, uh, chinese language but you don't know the chinese correct but i am speaking only i communicate with you only chinese language as every time i'm spreading to uh, teaching to only chinese chinese i'm sending sending but you not uh, getting that language not going to understand your language what you are speaking correct because of language barrier because of the language barrier you not you i am going to english so you are understanding proper well but i am going to chinese you not understanding that is the same thing to you are going to configure the multiple groups you are binding the group particular cisco and cisco they are communicating each other but i am going to cisco devices and configuring services of juniper they are not talking to each other got it that is a way to multiple groups multiple vendors you can get a multiple services not going to club them one service to multiple groups that very important so you want to import the groups it's possible but i'll i'll suggest you can you add the uh, one by one manually because going to confusion because some going to existing uh, groups existing devices going to change it so go, i think in not much more than 1000 or 2000 devices should go for manually i'm not going to suggest you to go for bulk import you going to import is possible but something going wrong but you not getting uh, understanding why going to something what is the wrong so that's why i'm suggest to go to one by switch can we go for manually adding okay that's so is a uh, clear for device group and device uh, uh, adding both the points are clear device and device group okay proxy target is nothing but is a pro hot proxy like that using but our clear pass normally not using the uh, proxy target but if you use so you can uh, configure i'll just show you
device and device group is finished at attribute is different attribute attribute is here only attributes is the services this is a very complicated this is a very attribute over here you can sorry sorry this attributes ah these are multiple type of uh, okay this attribute as just explain these are biometric these are this is a fingerprint devices see here these are fingerprint devices on guard like that yes dy vlan control id buildings they are going to co attributes like configure is example the biometric machine is so what is this you this adding the devices takas yes only the device is going to adding only tag value is very important i am just explaining the tag value why going to tag but other than that nothing to use only this tag very important this tag value is very important other that is only for this is a simple rule this tag very important so that uh, that that point already explained to you okay this is net this location you can add the location this also possible that like of this is for multiple things device types <coughs> you can take ds types this is our attributes on guard demo this but, but this is a not much more any using using for the tag value very important okay this is very important this value very important any confusion on the both the device both the points device and device group okay in the proxy target you are using the nothing but the proxy target by the radius server hitting the proxy that is only for proxy target you can configure the proxy that i am just testing you need to configure host name is and the radius for only radius this is for proxy target not for only direct this is proxy uh, proxy yes octa correct correct server sir okay the only part checking the dns because the proxy hitting that directly hit to the proxy and the our clear pass normally not use useful okay is not for useful but you configure this possible but depend your choice you going to configure you should be configure is a proxy target that's it but normally we are uh, are you configure that one are you configuration mm, yes yes Oh, correct. I'll show you. This is a checkpoint. Also, is going to be see. This checkpoint is a this is for domain name. This is a proxy proxy target, and is a you can use for uses. Sometimes use, sometimes not use. Okay. event source that means a event need to configure like the multiple events in you need to configure a multiple logs uh, multiple logs to come that like type of event should be syslog event uh, ingress event regarding the any uh, what is that this is uh, smax tools you know the smax tools smax smax xmax so therefore event is multiple event need to configure that time use this devices q ibm q radar this type of uh, event source so should that event going to the uh, sony or q radar ibm q q radar external 
lock source yes external lock source the event source is the device to send syslog event to clear pass any event sent to that are not from the configured event source should be ignored me that even only the lock source that's it got it uh, this is for snmp scan this is for snmp scan it should be configured as per network scan subnet scan this is snmp only okay it is snmp ssh need to con that only the one weekly send the server devices only for scanning okay snmp only these are the snmp uh, community you know the community snmp community need to configure and your switch that only this is community need to configure okay this is con community need to configure that's it I think I'm coming over here, huh? Okay, this is for policy simulation. In this policy, you need to configure as per directory database authentication. This policy simulation is there. NAS type, device type, FKD and clear pass IP address. This is for at you need to attribute should be configured as per IT ops. input packets one sec this is a policy simulation about the uh, test id any policy need to configure now for testing your the id server that is only use for that will take time well done this password is not there first this one only for test ad ad uh, any uh, ad policy or any policy and simulation need to check only that only use again okay, i just told you can video service certificate when i going to expire that coming to this error so see this is error coming you can see the error even in the front the uh, top when going to expire your radio certificate that expire pop up in in the own uh, clear pass on coming the screen got it now you can be able to see another screen is hello i'll show you this is expire in 27 days i'll show you i'll show you and set equification march 15 okay within a 727 days going to expire this certificates that this error is coming okay so this point is correct okay i am just uh, 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 explain about the flow about the one sec i just explain about the dot one explore Okay, this is our switch. 
and this is our uh, okay mm, this is a supplicant okay supplicant this is a system pc okay pc okay and this is a authenticator authenticator that means switch okay switch and authentication server this is the PC sending the request this is a clear pass server okay this last is a clear pass server okay how to uh, dot one x process is I just explain you Okay. When going to dot on X, the supplicant sending the request to the authentication. First request sending the packet. First packet sending the supplicant. Which packet? E pool. Oh, something in pool. Okay. I think very large. I just uh, should be. Okay. First package sending to the authenticator to switch. Okay. Authenticator sending reply to them to system which packet if request identity okay second packet goes uh, one sec I'm just uh, first second okay first trying to authenticator so uh, is supplement with the system going to send the request to the authenticator if poles e pole packets okay e pole so then authenticator sending the request to e request identity okay and third packet and the third packet which one third packet this one and third packet sending to again after e request identity supplicant sending the packet to again authenticator that packet is if respond I will assist response P O N Yes, e response I 
identity where are the packets oh The sending the authentic the request identity, the, re the responding to supplicant if response identity identity that means that name is John. Okay, John Doe. My name is John Doe. Sending the identity for me. I am the supplicant for John Doe. Okay. This packet, the authenticator sending to direct to the server. This packet, that packet, authenticator sending to direct my clear pass, not going to itself there checking, directly sending to clear pass. That packet is radius access request. with the help of F response to John directly sent to radius server Okay. When dot one x going to authenticate NAC is configured my switch. That time first e poll packet sending to my supplicant man system to I am a try to authenticate by with the help of e polls send to authenticate authenticate request sending to e request identity. What is your authentication identity? Again supplicant responding to I am I uh, respond if respond identity to Mr. John Doe that packet sending to my radius server radius access request sending to the supplicant pop response if John okay and the and the server and the server again responding again server are responding to them Ah, yes, yes, <laughs> this very uh, small thing that's why. Uh, mm, yes, yes. So, radius uh, server that means CP by responding to uh, supplicant. What request? Radius access. Challenge. If request for P E A P, he asking what is your protocol? If or PIP, they are going to confirm sending the request to which supplicant with the help of authenticator. Sorry. E poll E poll if request P E A P or what same sending request to the 
supplicant this packet going to packet to send you to supplicant supplicant replying to them to ready server what is replying replying to ready server i have if poll if response p e a p p a p okay supplicant told i have the pip okay so same request sending to to received the ready server okay no issue pip so then establish the connection with supplicant and the authenticated server P E P tunnel form set up and four way hand shaking. Okay. Okay, you have used not PIP. You are using IP. Okay, fine. Okay, they are going to it. form the tunnel and hand shaking both the them after hand shaking they are going to exchange the credential they are going to exchange the uh, credential credential over pep tunnel okay after changing they are sending the you, they are a supplicant sending the i have i don't have if i using the if pip so okay you have pips okay no issue i am going to tunnel from the tunnel and hand setting their acknowledgement the packets okay fine no issue is a pips okay hand setting before we hand setting has done the after hand setting they are going to change the it's exchange the credential with my username password everything on that change the identification with the help of pip tunnel pip tunnel is a by the secure tunnel is not going to going to hack it's a encrypted data encrypted data okay the last packets the last packets sending to uh, supplicant if success success a ra radius access escape escape okay after exchanging the credential with the help of pre protocol so if authentication is a success got it so what is the first packets one second i'm just way boss sir kidare okay the so first e poll first request sent to the supplicant that means the system e pulls packet to authentication okay i am the system my system going to authenticate with the dot one x so i sending the packet to e pulls send the packet to authenticate that means the switch sending switch to request to them again the system if sending to your identity what is the if request identity send to them asking to the supplicant supplicant sending respond to authenticator e response identity i am john do okay that request sending to the clear pass server which is by radius server authenticator is, is uh, informed to the uh, server in the supplicant trying to authenticate with the help of radius trying to authenticate with the radius that request is if john so please try then again going to 
next packet okay they are, they are confirming the our uh, our uh, redis server and the clear pass server changing the where what is your ex redis access protocol is it if or pip so they are going to again confirm to the supplicant that is informed to the uh, red clear pass server i don't have if i using the pip for exchange the credential okay then going to is going to both the way is going to uh, exchange okay is a uh, pip so they are confirming to the supplicant to the server is okay fine no issue after pip tunnel form and their uh, hand checking it well and their encrypted data is form after encrypted data if access is success and red is going to authenticate it with the help of redis server that system going to authenticate it okay just as um, the clear pass active directory authentication the if pip chap version 2 to join to join the clear pass server to authent to an active directory domain when going to join the clear pass policy manager to an active directory domain allows you to authenticate user and computer that are member of the active directory domain got it the joining clear pass policy manager active direct domain is it creates a computer account for a clear pass node in the active directory database user can be authenticated with the network using dot one x and if methods such as pip ms chap version 2 with their own their own active directory credential when joining an active directory domain in a what doing the pip version and ms chap authentication clear pass negotiate and user to highest server message block clear pass using the smb version 1 version 2 and version 3 smb means server message block the protocol version that is supported by the clear pass server we are using the SMB message that means server message block version one, version two, and version three. There are three version we are using the messaging the protocol with the help of Active Directory. Okay. In a one time procedure to join the ClearPass policy manager to the domain must be performed from a account that has the ability to join the computer to the domain. Why does ClearPass need to Active Directory to perform if pip MS Shop version 2 big authenticator for 8.8.0.2.1x ClearPass policy manager need to join Active Directory because when performing authentication for a client using if or pip or MS Shop 2 only the password has password hashes supplied by the user are used to authenticate it got it when going to a dot one x dot one x very secure protocols they are all the packet going to encrypt it okay that there's a tunnel form with the supplicant and radius server that going to tunnel form that encrypted data then passing to them dot one x only user credential for the ad user dot one x that used for if a uh, pip or ms sub 2 when come to the dot one x that only only for ad credential username password has been exchanged got it any issue on the dot one x dot one x when go, i'm talking about the dot one x that dot one x only not only for verify and uh, uh, credential verification about this AD user should be present in your active directory. They are checking with the help of protocol if and pip are MS Shop 2. Okay. Got it now. Huh? So then supplicant going to try to authenticate your uh, corporate environment. They are going to checking the user and password should be there in my AD. Okay. That tunnel form in the uh, radius server. The tunnels 
exchange the username password and credential after exchange the credential they are going to that uh, supplicate going to authenticate and access uh, with the help of redis server got it okay So when I am talking about dot one x, dot one x hundred percent sure. Dot one is not going to authenticate with the username and username password is the MAC address. Okay, MAC address username password only for for the MAC authentication. Local local database. But I am when going to talking about the dot one x that means hundred and hundred percent thousand percent is secure because that packet is the encrypted packet. That packet is validated only for AD, PIP, or proper protocols way to go to flow. Got it? But until and unless you are not going to uh, that this, uh, endpoint not going to authenticate with your dot one x. That time use the MAC authentication. MAC authentication that itself is username password is a is a MAC address of the cell itself is a MAC system MAC user physical MAC address. That's it. But in the clear pass in in our clear pass and corporate environment only for using or you we are using only for dot one x credential. Not going to MAC authentication. Mac auth until and unless you are AD service down, that time you are using. But I am suggest you don't use the Mac auth authentication. But Mac auth authentic Mac auth use for Mac auth only use for particular devices like printer, CCTV camera, biometric machine. They are is a dumb devices. They are not using the brain. Correct. That only type of devices use the Mac auth authentication. Got it. But when going to I'm talking about the endpoints, laptops, or desktop, that should be connected in your corporate network only for dot one x, not going to Mac auth, correct? So I'm taking care of security about talking about security. So use all the device should be connected with the secure environment. So the difference between the Mac auth and the dot one x, correct? Then then we meet both the difference. Got it, na? Again, one more thing. One more I explain you again, but then going to explain. One second. We have three authentication method. We have three authentication method in the our clear pass. Okay. We both. Okay. Hey. Okay. There are in our clear path. There are three authentication. One is a web authentication. Second is dot one x, and third is Mac authentication. Mac or the on Mac authentication nothing but as a map. Okay. In the clear path language, going to map. Map means a map. Okay. Fine. So web authentication. When going to use a web authentication? Web authentication. That means when going to uh, on guard agent. Your system installing the on guard agent. I'm talking the on guard agent. Or when going to use on guard uh, authenticate with the endpoints going to authenticate with their on guard that time use the web auth authentication i'll show you i will show one second mm. this is my endpoints okay i just copy the mac address and access tracker select the mac address of the particular systems Enter. See, this is a map auth. What is the request? 
web auth service okay you can able to see my screen this thing is not nothing but the only for on guard agent you can able to see on guard agent this is a on guard agent service the on guard when going to authenticate their system with the help of only on guard agent on guard should be available in the system that time you that service going to be applicable the on guard agent not available in your endpoints not installing the endpoints that service not going to uh, applicable okay the on guard agent it should be installed in your system that on guard agent authenticate with the help of this authentic this we are web auth service okay this is login request identifier id mac address username okay access policy healthy everything on can able to see here this healthy device usb everything in, in the posture which should be applied in the web auth web auth policy all the posture appliance in the windows or any posture policy should be applied with only for web auth not going to dot onx not going to mac auth got it i'll show you again i show you again. Mm. i have this policy posture okay is you okay this is a posture appliance compliance this is service registry key you can block this type of application in your clear pass any dex team or any type of application exe should be blocked with the help of on guard agent in your environment in the corporate network it should be blocked any type of exe any type of exe should be blocked so we have achieved that only for the posture any dex team or ip messenger any type of unwanted or any not using the exe in your environment should be enter the ip enter the name that exe should block in your networks it's web filtering this web filtering possibly web filtering that know the in the firewall the web filtering you know that firewall web filtering web filtering that so same thing we should be block in your in the clear pass any dex any type of exe any type of exe should be block you should be enter the ip in the name it should be block with the help of on guard agent this is a posture policy key registry key any particular registry key should be there you can apply current register key local machine key any key should be there uh, present in your machine you can configure like that that machine credential that value is not there in the particular endpoints that system going to quarantine you can achieve on that you help up posture policy got it any type of registry key or any name should be available in your endpoint that should be configured in the posters okay antivirus you you can inform the corporate network antivirus should be there antivirus should be there and the version is should be not less than 14 but 0 that version also mention everything on that mention latest version everything on mention we can achieve their posture policy if the on guard agent or if the if the machine particular endpoints antivirus antivirus is not there that machine going to automatically quarantine with the compliance not matching that machine going to quarantine got it this patch management any patch is a windows patch a type of patch you can define the patches hot fixes windows microsoft hot fixes you can define hot fix number up hot critical you know that keys every week or every 15 days microsoft release the some patches got it so that patches we need to fix over here should be patch updated that also uh, achieve in your posture policy in your in network usb block so you can block the usb no nobody can add, uh, connect the usb pen drive in your uh, computer that also achieve over here correct if the virtual machine if anybody can configure the virtual machine vm that also block that also achieve here yeah. okay so all this achievement with the help of only the only the posture policy with the help of web with the help of 
waiver policy okay all the this point all this point cover this only this first policy okay without on guard agent we are not going to manage not going to protect in our endpoint system okay on guard agent to check the health status of the system to check the uh, software update to check the antivirus update each and every scan the all the application all the parameter we are checking with the help of on guard agent any compliance not matching the any endpoints that system immediately going to quarantine okay you clear the web policy web policy not going to check any credential make sure that okay web policy related only the on guard agent for particular endpoint need to protect with the help of on guard agent they are going to apply the posture and that policy sub would be applied in the web got it any confusion for web policy web authentication in the clear path there are three types of authentication was web dot one x and mac auth so there are two important points web auth and dot one is very important mac auth until and unless were used okay so any in the first point web authentication it's clear maybe something confusion i think not be clear maybe bro your voice is very low <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Come on, I can get you. Ah, okay. Summarize. Okay, summarize. I have this system, but I'm my system yesterday the goes down. I am going to authenticate, but that system one second that endpoint be authenticated, but not going to see. I show you in the lab how to protect them. Uh, One second, I'm just going to ping is there, na? so I'm just apply. But how can I able to see? One second, one zero six. And it one sixty eight zero dot one zero six. I'm not going to ping bro. One mm, zero six, my PC. because my system yesterday goes down that's why i'm not going to in the lab because i need to re reinstall the os so, uh, my this my lab system my lab system my lab pc lab is working but pc is not working one second just i'm checking One zero six, but why not able to ping? I think I need to ping here. One second, ping one ninety. I is not pinging, but I'm trying to configure this one second. I'm just trying to show you. Uh, going to static host list uh, testing PC. Uh, I think already there. Okay, fine. Mm, service we bought, we bought, we bought, we bought testing. Uh, 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 service will check. Okay. I will show you. But I'm going to very fast. I will explain you. Huh? Don't don't take attention. Okay. I just show you in the that's why. Huh? I'm just. Show, I'll show you. I just. Uh, A testing PC service authorization time okay rules uh, not required no change in punishment okay uh, okay fine 
so I'm just going to retry from oh yeah one sec on guard and I'm just retry the bounce back my system goes one second not going to authenticate so it will wait I'm just showing uh, okay it's working fine okay so I am just the system now I the system go healthier for one second in the log uh, in the log 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 okay the system is healthy or quarantine waiter is system is healthy system healthy I need to quarantine the system okay wait I'm just showing how to do quarantine wait I am changing the policy. Uh, I am changing the posture policy. Mm, USA weather policy. What is the policy? User news. Okay. You can modify it. Uh, posture policy. Uh, yeah, I am doing to any decks. Sorry, antivirus should be enabled. And. Uh, which one any type of antivirus should be aware adware okay adware should be there i'm like that is configuring the policy you can able to see the system healthy correct you can able to see the system health healthy correct so uh, i'm just configure the policy and retry the agent i'm going to call pick and retry the agent i'll show you the system going to know not one second i'm policy con with antivirus should be there wait I'm just I'm just bounce back the re reconnect the agent so it's way wait, wait come back Wait, next next log is coming. So system goes should be quarantine. I need to reinstall the my OS because OS is damaged. Net I'll show you in this. My laptop should be connected, but wait. Uh, on guard is not coming. Wait, it will take time. take time like it is still waiting
ओके सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू क्वारंटाइन वन सेकंड ड्यू टू द एंटीवायरस सी यू कैन एबल टू सी द स्किन कैन एबल टू सी दिस हाइलाइटेड हेलो सी सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू क्वारंटाइन वन सेकंड एज ऑन गार्ड इज गोइंग टू वेट बट हियर इज कमिंग सी सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू क्वारंटाइन कैन एबल टू सी What is the reason? This reason for unhealthy for antivirus. Because I am in the posture configured, the antivirus should be there. Antivirus is not there. That system going to quarantine. You can able to see the quarantine. Understand? So with the help of with the help of on guard agent, we can achieve the all these things for endpoint. In the USB go to quarantine. Antivirus, install application. It should be all the achieve for on guard agent. Okay, so I am just remove the condition and let's see. I am re remove the condition. The third condition I should be remove. Again, bounce back the agent. Let's see. System goes healthy. So when system goes quarantine. That quarantine ACL should be apply in the switch, not the clear pass. Clear pass pushing the ACL, but apply in the itself with the switch. Dynamic ACL supported switch. I am pushing the ACL from the switch. Pushing from the switch. Switch deployed at particular points, end points. That particular port. Okay. I will show you that uh, now system healthy. Let's see. Now the system healthy. You can able to see the healthy. got it so we both you should be clear on that we both we both not going to we both should achieve the system going to not compliance matching the particular endpoint that should that should be that system going to quarantine or healthy okay as per your posture policy after posture policy the dynamic as well we apply of the dot 1x on the particular port the enforcement policy that point should be next point not this point no don't get confused you should be right now we can clear about the webauth authentication webauth policy any doubt webauth policy regarding the webauth authentication it's clear okay so with the webauth we are on guard agent with the help on guard agent we can achieve each and everything up for the end point it should be quarantine not compliance match it should be quarantine healthy you can achieve that any exe any usb any anything we can done it and any can uh, protect to them to end points okay okay this point we do clear maybe it's, it's very clear this point okay because i am just explaining when going to configure should be clear on that point Again, huh. again. Second point is dot one x authentication. Okay, one second, one second, just a minute.
సారీ బ్రో ఐఎమ్ డ్రింకింగ్ వాటర్ ఐఎమ్ డ్రింకింగ్ వాటర్ సో వాట్ ఈజ్ ఐ త్రిపుల్ ఈ డాట్ వన్ ఎక్స్ ఓకే ఓకే డివైస్ అటెంప్ టు కనెక్ట్ ల్యాండ్ ఆర్ డబ్ల్యూ ల్యాండ్ రిక్వైర్ అండ్ అథోంటిక్ అండ్ మెకానిజం ఎయిట్ జీరో టూ డాట్ వన్ ఎక్స్ పోర్ట్ బేస్డ్ నెట్వర్క్ యాక్సెస్ కంట్రోల్ ప్రోడా ప్రొవైడ్స్ ప్రొటెక్ట్ అథోంటికేషన్ ఫార్ సిక్యూర్ నెట్వర్క్ యాక్సెస్ ఇన్ ద డాట్ వన్ ఎక్స్ డాట్ వన్ ఎక్స్ నెట్వర్క్ ఇస్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ హోమ్ నెట్వర్క్ ఇన్ అ మేజర్ వే టు మోర్ సిక్యూర్ నెట్వర్క్స్ డాట్ వన్ ఎక్స్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ఇన్ అథోంటికేటెడ్ సర్వర్ కార్డ్ యాజ్ అ రేడియస్ సర్వర్ ఇట్ చెక్స్ యూజర్ క్రెడెన్షియల్ టు సి ఇఫ్ they are active member of the organization and depending on the network policies grant users varying level of access to the networks this allows the unique credential or certificate to be used per user eliminating a signal password it can be how does dot one x work dot one x is a network authentication protocol that po- open ports for network access when organization authenticating user identity and authorize them for access to the network the user identity is uh, determined based on the credential or certificate which is confirmed by the radius server the radius server is able to this communicating with the organization directory that known as active directory okay again one more thing the dart one x there are two types there are two types one is a username password other is a certificate based that tls if tls okay dot one x we have achieved that there are two types of certificates two types of method sorry one is dot one x username password based one is user uh, certificate based i just explain you username password verify from the your particular ad server if some type of user are present in your ad or not after that that authenticate to them and other than certificate based if tls back they are not going to check the username password they going to validate the certificates the endpoint certificates are installing the certificate they are going to verify the certificates is validate correct then going to authenticate as compared to username passwords tls if tls certificates is very faster got it as per you as per dot one x username based to certificate based certificate, certificate authentication very fast as compared to username password okay uh any issue to che any not understand let me know i will uh, again clear in the in the clear about the tls certificates and username password i am can you tell me about the which is which which of both of them what is which is the faster for the authentication going to authenticate this endpoint i am going to authenticate the endpoints to which are using i need to, i need to faster authentication to which are using in the both of two uh, sorry
no 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 i'm not tls is a secure but as compared to username password more faster to tls faster not going username faster yeah tla tls is faster as compared to username password and more secure at tls it's correct what it na correct 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 so i think both the points are clear uh, both the point all clear correct okay again last point is mac authentication again i explain mac authentication nothing but this map okay map is going to itself be username password that like username password is a printer cctv camera biometric machine i ip phone multiple they are not going to on guard going to install other particular system that system come to this mac authentication some type of device are using for printer cctv camera that those devices cover in the mac authentication but until and unless your ready server goes down that time you can use the endpoint authentication but not in the until and unless not uh, sometime uh, every time okay to so, um, it should be clear all these three points okay very important as mac auth also mac auth also mac auth also clear because mac auth is nothing but is the username password is okay bypass bypass means it said username password not going to validate only that mac address itself is a username password not not going to validate it's not a secure it's not a secure okay yes yes correct and not going to secure okay sorry sir come again so now i'm i'm showing i'm sh I, i will show you i will show you bro i just my in, i need to install the windows i have the lab i have the lab see i my id server also is clear but my pc is not going to i this pc i have the lab this is server this pc is not going to connect i don't know why is happening see i is going to try but still reinstall the os i think i reinstall the os all these server i am going to show you don't worry but i have just i will show you how to do this i will i will, I will live i will uh, show you the configuration everything on that okay it will take time <laughs> i have just it will take time 